good enough. We're in the pines. We are in the middle of the pines right now, having some tasty beverages. It's like one in the morning, right? Yeah, and happy one to do the live video. And hey, why not? Well, because this was last minute for me. Everybody knows that you're going to be at Creststone Brewery. And what, what town is it in? Creststone. <laughs> we just figured it out. You yeah. Like. Yeah. Like it just did you just lose that? I don't know. Does is it, it getting is, is this? It working? No, what to say? Go live when you have a faulty connection, and it's like you'll lose most of it anyways, and then you'll be like, oh, <laughs> did it work or? Did it doesn't it? really matter what I say. And then you, you look on YouTube later, and you're like, why did I say that? You wanna know something? You delete footage, never make a video with it, or you make a video with it, and millions of people see it, it'll be gone either way. And in a in a, few, a week or two months, nobody will care. Things move so fast these days, man. I don't know, man. It's hard to keep people's attention. Yeah. But but also we're so we're gonna be in Creststone Saturday. What time are you gonna be there? Well we got <laughs> off on I, I got off say, a, a we, I should see we. We got a, we got someone coming. Oh, somebody's on there. Hi, I think friend. So. Yeah, so nope. we are gonna be in Crum Brewery. Yep. Colorado. It's gonna be good. Hope you guys make it. Come hang out, have a brewski. Brian, off grid backcountry adventures. He's uh He's really the big planner of all this. I just said, hey, I'm coming your way. And then he was like, we should do a meetup. And then he called me and was like, hey, are you down a mob? I'm like, yeah. He's down. <laughs> I'm so down. So we're sitting in the big blue van. No, we're sorry. We're drinking the big blue van. Sitting in the I'm big. I'm drinking Papago. The big old Sprinter van. What's up, Van Life Rocks? Woo, thanks for watching, brother. Nice. What's up? We got a weird delay right now. Yeah. So Cheers. Cheers, brother. Well, it's good to see your comment. Yeah, we're, we're not really even sure if, if this is all connecting. Yeah, because it keeps That's why I started rambling earlier Reconnecting. About weird. So, Brian yeah. off-grid. So, that, so, yeah, we're meeting up with Brian, Crestone Brewery in Colorado. And what right time? now we're in New Mexico. Yeah. And we're going tomorrow through uh, more of New Mexico. Yeah. Gonna we're going to stay some, in New Mexico uh, again tomorrow, too. We gonna hit the hot springs or I something? I think I think that's kind of seems like it's the highlight. There's also a river gorge. I love gorges. My experience, river gorges are beautiful. You're like, whoa, big valley, and I can't argue that. There's a there's usually a river. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually what makes it. It's usually like a like a gore type it's thing like the which is water just tectonic <laughs> plates came apart and the water carved its way through tectonic plates i don't know i if wish i paid word, word. if i was to retake um those classes in <laughs> what class would that be geology <laughs> in elementary school i'm just gonna say <laughs> history yeah elementary <laughs> things no yeah history anyways thank land you landscapes geology geology is it geology geology maybe yeah maybe. If I was to retake those things now, camping and being out here, I am so interested in like, oh, rocks. It's like, You've got ooh, a that's pocket a different full color. of rocks right now. I do have a pocket full of rocks. Uh, I got a pocket full of kryptonite. Pocket full of rocks. I haven't even shown. Yeah. I haven't What's even shown. Show them the yeah. Show them the rocks. Well, first we'll have to show you the Yukon pin. I told Happy, I bought this jacket used in Bend, Oregon second hand you know it's a score too and it had to have some good adventure because after that last year we went to the arctic ocean and we found so this is a rock from uh, a glacier in alaska an ice cave beautiful spot this is this oh this is jade from jade british columbia this is a random river rock that ashley found but i remember that she picked it it's so smooth she don't always find the smooth ones. I can never find one this smooth. This is another random rock that I kind of forgot. But I remember that it just meant something special. And it needed to be in my pocket. And they're also small. And when I wash the jacket, I take them out. And Ooh, I make sure they go. Out? I take them out. I make sure they go back in there. I take the pin off. I'm like, I, I am not meticulous about anything. Like Call this. him out. If you ever see him wearing this jacket, ask to see his rocks. If he doesn't have them in there, rocks. he has to buy you a beer. I'll show you my rocks. You're going to buy him a beer if you don't have them on you? 
Come on, oh, yeah, bro, if, on, in this jacket? Yeah. yeah. All right. But I, I don't even know why I would say that. It's never going to happen. <laughs> it could happen. Why would you even say that? <laughs> it could happen. I don't know why he oh, even says man. it. Uh, so, anyways, so this, will be fun. this will be fun to watch tomorrow. What? Yeah, I know, right? Who, who was that? We're going to go live with Brian, too. We got yeah. to. What? We don't, I mean, I don't know. We got to, though. But what time are what we time? going? Yeah, what time oh, is times. The... I mean, I don't like, I don't, when we like get there? I don't like clocks and things. And time. Oh, wait, Crestone? Yeah. We need times for that. 2 p.m. They open uh, at 1, I think, uh, on Saturday. Confusion sets in. Some things we need times for. You're right. Clocks are good for some things. I usually just like to wake up with the sun and go to bed. When like, it's dark. Especially with the rooftop tent, man. I was, no, I was right? when I was waiting for you, like, and you. I mean, you I got here. You got here at ten. Ten thirty. Well, I kind of you fell asleep. That? Well, because I went. I did go in the rooftop tent for an hour. So. He's like, I'll turn on my lights so you can find me, and then I'm like, it's dark. Oh no, my lights are on. But yeah, I had scramble. to turn. Them. I had to turn them on. If I would have had them on when you pulled in, you might not have made your wrong turn. <laughs> you, you would have seen me. I turned down this road and i was like i was going i'm like yeah, i don't see his tire me. tracks and i was about to go through this freaking wash that was gnarly i'm like I, <laughs> it feels over there man i'll send it i'm not afraid you guys <laughs> seen the videos i ain't afraid to send it dude that's why i'm excited i told brian like he's excited to meet you and 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 uh, he was like wait what are his socials and i told him and he was like oh yeah i'm following him but what, and he's um, like well i got a he's in a sprinter van right and i'm like yeah and he's like, so I gotta, we gotta make sure that he can, you know, fit and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit taller than our rigs, but he's down to mop. Like, I'm down. we're like ready to, I don't know. And, I and this do thing's Black impressive. Bear pass in this thing. This thing's impressive. So, dude, yeah, we got to do it up this week. Because Bronson from Red oh. Gear. Oh my God! I didn't spill anything. These are velour. I crushed it. <laughs> I Watch the leather, that. man. Just got real excited. We just both happen to have the same pants on. What kind are these? So I saw these on Facebook. This is a funny story. I was in Sand Hollow, I think, this year. What kind of pants are these? They're, are you getting to that? Dude, they're both of them are different. I don't know what Mine you would even call them. Right they're here, they're made in China, and wow, you're really up there with your pants. <laughs> <laughs> they're made in China, and uh, here, I'll just show you. He's got the gray, I got the brown. <laughs> that doesn't it was, really it help. It wasn't planned. We weren't like, hey, what are you going to wear? I'm going to wear my pants and my Patagonia There's jacket. There's many different versions of these pants. But when I was in Sand Hollow this year, I believe it was this year. Yeah. I was wearing these pants. I saw a guy. We were wheeling. And they were like, I was in some of my buddies' really cool rigs with 40s and one tons. And felt like the cool guy because there were some people watching. Whoa. Come sorry, on, bud. Bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, nice, sorry, nice bro. A, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, and I see this guy, and I see these pants, and I'm like, nice pants, bro. I got the same pants, and I was wearing them. <laughs> and he's like, no way. And I go, yeah, Facebook ad? And he was like, yeah. And he Dude, goes, they got and, me he, too. and he looks, and he goes, honey, see, honey? Like, they are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> they are comfortable, though. Like you said, they're like, Sleeping pants. They got on fleece. the inside. They feel like sleep pants, and on the outside, they look like adventure overland pants. But they're stretchy too. For overland like... pants. <laughs> Wait. Over. Do we? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we've had interactions here, so something must be working. Oh hi, we're, we're back. back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> like a news show. Welcome back I to wish... the Ocho. Uh, I wish we had news. To talk do about, do we do. No, <laughs> I'm we have. Um, I'm just kidding. So we have. Um, you so what, you never said the time, like of two p.m. Crestone, two p.m. Two p.m. That's a good time. And we are back. Van Life Rocks is back. <laughs> Sorry, we keep so, losing. Van Life Rocks. Yeah. If you, if you, if it's easy enough to comment, Phil from Down to Mob, you know that because you're probably here because of him. Thank you. Oh, Come on, oh, bro. Oh, I'm shucky darn. Um, is it what's happening when we cut out? Is it, I'm curious. Is I don't it, know. Is it? I'm curious what it looks like. Now. But it's whatever. So, anyways, we're in the Sprinter van. What else do these people want to know? What should we tell them? Um, what should we talk about? You're on a pretty long journey again. 
Well, my I don't know. It's and, and I keep no things open. I keep things wide open. I love you both. Oh, yeah, sucks. buddy. Thank you. Yeah, man. Glad to have you here. This is fun. Um, fun hanging out. But yeah, it's it'll be extended. And I've got. I'm gonna run this setup for a while, and then do the flatbed and the camper, and still got a lot of work to do on the truck. But I'm just excited to be out and. It's weird. All year, I've like had goals instead of plans, and I mean, if any anyone who's had long term plans this year, I'm sure a lot of things have changed. Any update on the ambulance? Yeah, oh, updates man. on the ambulance. There's updates. Wait till we go live. Oh, uh, he doesn't with, uh, want. I knew it. No, I knew it. I, I want I to. I want to. But no, I like it. It's fun. That, it's man, fun. there's it's like the carrot. You dangle it. God, it's no, just it's, like it's. It's so hard. It's one it's of those. It's also things. a hard decision. And I and I've been counting all the votes. Like, and there's multiple. There's uh, YouTube votes. There's Instagram votes. There's Facebook votes. And then the people who just tell me I'm insane for one, they're like, "What is wrong with you?" And I, you know, I'm a retired firefighter, and all the fire guys are like, "Would you spend a whole career on an ambulance? What the hell? You want to go back in another one?" I'm like, "I'm not choosing. You guys are, you know." And they're like. They can't, it's like, they can't wrap their mind around it, you know what I mean? I feel like there'd be some sort of comfort with the ambulance, and it would be a way different than any ambulance. You, you know, it would be your own home. I so don't know. The, 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 Is that weird? I don't know. You know, I initially went to um, pick up the ambulance for a friend of mine, because he was going to mob it, and uh, yeah, and and he's just like, hey, you know, I just feel like it would be you, why don't you, you know, Jimmy Ward from uh, 365 Camper. He's actually doing some great things right now. His channel's gonna pick up. He's actually building like a fleet of vans, cause he like he loves vans. He loves like fabrication. He loves all of that stuff. So he's actually building a couple of vans, like for rentals for people who can't buy one and do it all the time. So I was like, dude, that's really cool, man. You there's know? a lot of there's a lot of that stuff, and and some of my friends in the industry that I've seen that are doing that, and it's 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 amazing. I think it's awesome. I think there's so cool. much unique stuff they're putting in these vehicles that people can test before they buy. Yeah, so he's the one that bought the van or the ambulance and was like, you know, um, why don't you let your subscribers decide? And I was like, holy crap, that's a brilliant idea, you know? Yeah. And when I drove it from Washington, like, it feels right. Like, it was super comfortable. It was what I drove for years and years and years. And it's just, I can just, like, drive that thing. Like, it's like second nature, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it was, well, we were talking to like ambulance. You th I think, cause I was never an EMT. I was never like firefighter. I was never you know, any in that field. Type. I never had any experience with any of that. That was, you know, anyways, to know what you told me that like, About cause the I bad said, juju, how cause I said, yeah, like... I said ambulance. I mean, wouldn't you be sleeping at night by yourself out in the wilderness? And it's all dark, and you hear a noise, and you're like, oh, maybe it's one of the people who died in here coming to haunt me. You should have done CPR better. Yeah, and oh, you, you go. I'm scared of you. You, you I remember, I'll never forget it. You were like, no, dude, nobody dies in an, in an ambulance. They and don't. you were like, they don't. you were like, no, what, 15 years, 20 years? Uh, you were like, 14 years four, total. Yeah, you were like, nobody ever, nobody died. Yeah. And nope. I was like, wait. What do you mean, like? Because when you guys call nine one one, we go there, and we either have to make the decision, unfortunately, if they're deceased on the scene, and if we think there's a chance on keeping them alive or that they'll make it, we are life support up until they get to the hospital, and we leave it up to the hospital to make that decision. So nobody dies in the ambulance. Like we maintain everything, and you don't fail on that. It's just crazy. And, and, and also, this ambulance was never even a transport unit. It was just a rehab unit. So when firefighters would come in from yep. a fire, they would have it set up with... That's why it already has the awning on so it. So it was the ultimate relaxation spot for yep. them. Yep, they had the and, awning out, some catering. And Gatorade. even any ambulance, with knowing this information, makes me think like, oh, an ambulance is like... Almost a positive a thing, A new too. life. Yeah. Like a new... Like it's... It's, it's not the a new life. always good. Not a new life, but... Um, maintaining 
like uh, yeah life sustaining almost. life or uh, I mean, yeah maintaining life which is what a camper sustaining life yeah. which is what a camper does yeah you want all the things to maintain a comfortable life yeah and that's just like one thing that's in. and that's why I mean I think that's those two goals go along with the camper and the camper and the ambulance so yeah. it's like I think that's why it is a good crossover because there's lots of things about the ambulance but it, it has that hospital vibe that yeah, you want yeah. to shake, I think, most people want. And, you know, when we're at Crestone Brewery, Saturday at 2 p.m., you can find out in person, or if you're watching the live, yeah, we're going to go, we're gonna go ahead and announce <laughs> that. I mean, you'd be surprised on the numbers when, we, when I put that video out. I mean, you can read just the comments like, like there's a lot of ambulance there's a lot of rebels you know some people went so in depth and i appreciate it and some of them were just freaking hilarious like i could tell which ones were like firefighters and stuff they're like don't pick the ambulance because nobody wants to be on the ambulance <laughs> you know what I mean? they're talking about on shift you know That's you always want to be on the fire truck and run calls on the fire truck you know well everyone's coming from a different perspective and yeah. that's the fun thing there's no right or wrong to any of the campers or any of the and honestly I mean, those these those rigs like the ambulance built out and this kind of similar. I mean, the ambulance is heavier and a little wider, but other than that, I mean, you know, I I as a matter of fact, it's probably lower. Is I, it, or, I don't know. Is well, it gonna be as tall? It's, when it's lifted, everything I'm sure it'll be. It's as not tall gonna be as tall. Um, so right it's now, it's gotta be when it's lifted. No, actually. And what size tires are you putting on? So okay, so the well, way that I it mean, reads right now, actually, we don't. The length of this yeah. is 19 feet. They they say it's a 19 foot rig, right? But with the ladder and the bumpers, I measured it. It's about more like 21 feet, and yeah. I measured that's the, like what the Dodge Mahal was, right? And I measured the the ambulance, and it was 22 feet. So we're talking about a foot, maybe a foot and a half difference in length, right? I measured from mirror to mirror on this, and mirror to mirror on the ambulance, and it's six inches wider on the ambulance. Only six but, inches. But the box. But the though. body the itself box, is though. wider. Yeah. See, screw the mirrors. You can you can scrape those mirrors or anything. The box. But I mean, I don't know. Like I've been in some tight spots with the Dodge Mahal, and yeah. you could have got this ambulance. You could have been following me in the four x four ambulance all along the way. But I might have had to got out and spot those Maybe extra, you might those have extra to do, like few. And you might have to do some three point but turns honestly, or like, something. Yeah, but honestly, I mean, I don't know. And I think height, people uh, think so too much. Height, height really is not height that is, big of an issue. On the ambulance is eight feet. But so I'm talking like on the trail, like real world situations. So when you're talking about tight scenarios, we're not really talking about rocks as much. No, Sometimes, we're talking about we're talking about trees, trees and stuff. So when we're talking about trees, and there's going to be at least enough, like eight feet, at least eight feet to where your vehicle can fit. Those trees are going up; they got branches. But like anything up there, like if people have driven through it before, kind of pushes them out of the way. You can slam through it. You can just crash through it. <laughs> Crunch, mud, slam. I slid it all dead. I mean, you can I, push your way through. The Dodge Mahal was a fiberglass camper, and I was worried at first. Like, I'm going to put a, a gouge in it or something. Or I'm going to, like, see a, a stick in the side of it. And I actually got in the I got in the tent today because <laughs> this is a fiberglass, the James Brood's fiberglass, the rooftop tent. I got up there, and I was like, I envisioned – that exact thing like a because i scraped through some trees and stuff anyways i don't so, think height's that big of an issue you so there's like pretty two... tall i mean you can almost be as tall as you want height when height becomes an issue i think is center of gravity and this thing has a lot of body roll like it's it's pretty bad yeah. it's it's scary at times i mean and sometimes it catches wind and, and that's when you it's... can buy the suspension upgrades and stuff like that you know what i mean to kill that yeah. but so the ambulance is eight feet tall and this is right at 10 feet so it's two feet different. So if I put the four by four system and a couple inches lift, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna test the waters with like thirty fives. Ultimately, I'm, I'm kind of 
want to go big, bro. I'm kind of thinking 41s you got if I do it. I think you should. God. I, I mean, knew you were going to say that. You're not. This a is good the first influence. time he told me that. You gotta <laughs> watch uh, uh, Matt, my buddy Matt in Washington. Well, he's not in Washington now, but he was when I was. Anyways, he built a. What was it? Oh, it was a Kodiak. Like a six, oh, six, I saw that one. Yeah. Nine hundred horsepower ambulance Shoot. on forty one. He had that. Massive I had the pleasure solar, of working huh? on that build. Yeah, he had a thousand watts of solar oh panels God. that he built himself. That was he, so crazy. He, he built the solar panels himself. And he made a pass through on the it. cells together. Oh yeah, it had a pass through. It, it was. It was more like a. It crawl was fully hole, gutted. But... The interior was fully gutted. All of the well, some of the boxes were retained, but the interior was fully gutted, and it was built with starboard. And this starboard, it was all the most expensive like material. This starboard, I remember him being like, "Yeah, this is like." 400 bucks for like a sheet and it was thick and it was heavy Dude, but that thing's amazing this thing had though. a so it had fourteen thousand pound uh payload i might be messing these numbers up uh, or sorry gross vehicle weight rating fourteen thousand pounds and it weighed when he gutted it about ten thousand or something like that so it's like and he's adding maybe a thousand pounds 1500 tops i mean he's adding heavy materials but even at that it's so these beasts of these ambulances and yeah so when they're new they're like 200 250 thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars these ambulances yeah you can get them used for a quarter mil if you're getting the two-wheel drive i mean you did a trade deal and, and pricing i'm not but some of these I've seen on eBay, five to ten grand as much. Now that's maybe more miles, and you, that's yeah. definitely always two wheel drive. And that's that was a huge like benefit that it was a rehab vehicle, and it only has fifty three thousand original miles on a seven point three, and that's like unheard of. You know what I mean? To find that low of miles on something like that, it's it's crazy. Wait, I didn't know it had <laughs> that low. Of miles. That low of miles, and then it comes with. The full four-wheel drive system, so... Dude, I didn't know it had that low of miles. Yeah, it's super low, bro. So, oh. you know, with all that being said, it's like, how can... You know, this? that's why That's why I ultimately said, you know what? I can't make this decision. I really can't. Like, I could not choose, because I love this thing. I mean, look at us. We're sitting here chilling. We got Coda. She's already in bed. Kicked my sheets around and was this like, thing's sweet. get out of my bed. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, Coda, I guess it's your bed now. She's knocked out. She's been asleep for like 20 minutes, like hardcore sleep. She needs a camper. She's been, it's been funny with the rooftop tent. So I got the same ladder I had in the Dodge Mahal just to adjust like awning and tent things if I needed a ladder. I really didn't need it. But anyways, I have it with me and I put it, I put it down when the first trip, I put it down by the tailgate so coda like put her arms up on it and was like what is this what kind of camper is this <laughs> like 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 looking at the tailgate and all the cooking stuff and like what this is and uh what that she is? was he's still outside <laughs> yeah like she's like dad where's where's my camper basically was the look i got dude but that thing is sweet dude what i love what's it what's that what's who makes that rooftop tent a James Baroud rooftop tent, and then you it's got, got the pack racks. The pack racks, which Dude. we sell on downtomob.com. We, me, it's just me. Dude, Down to Mob's just that me. thing's Anyways, so insane. The pack racks, though, really quick. Um, Greg, made in America. It's been like one of the most fun things to work with Greg. And I've and talked now, to that guy too, like just yeah. randomly. He's such a good dude. Like, oh, you know what I mean. And then you got all the work done. Nichols Auto Fab. Like, again, like. Like, everybody that has done anything to his or my vehicle, like, we've, like, become friends with. Like, we've been very fortunate to meet, like, amazing people. Yeah, thanks, man. The Jeep's been weird. I, I kind of, um, or sorry, weird. Not weird. It's been amazing. but It's a weird I, transition I, for I, you, I, though. I, I say weird because of, like, how much I've been into it and every little detail. And now, like, I'm just on the road literally, like, Today is real first day. Everything with me. I'll be gone for a while. You did a pre-run the other day. Yeah, did a little shakedown, and then it's like I just really I kind of have to slap myself and look at it and be like, take a step back because years ago when I before I went full time, I always imagined about 
doing it out of the Jeep. I had a Jeep JK, and I love the Jeeps. And then I heard the Jeep truck was coming out four years ago. And I was like, maybe I should wait for the Jeep truck, I thought. Two, three years ago. Yeah, no. But then the Dodge and Mahal then, came along. So, hey, this is a good example. If you're thinking, I should wait for that new rig. I should wait till I have enough money to build the, build the camper or the, the ambulance. I mean, you, you, you can do the ambulance now. It's a realistic thing, and in fact, it's um, more affordable than this. So it, it's it's in your scenario, more, yeah. It's so, anyways. It, I just think monetarily, it makes more sense to go into the ambulance. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I've gotten so used to this. I mean, people like you guys have seen me with them. I've taken it on Jeep trails down to Cowboy Corner. Remember, we went at night, and we're like, ah. And then it was insane. We went there at night. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was remembering because I edited the video, and I only got video of the day. So I was just remembering the day. I forgot we went there at night. We went at night. You're, and we're you're, teetering. Dude, and it's never like, have I ever seen anybody mob a van. And I've gotten so like comfortable in this. Stuff. And, you know, I put out a video also um, when I went to the same trail with Crazy. a friend of mine. And, dude, you should have seen the Facebook comments, man. People were like, get the license plate. That thing's either stolen or a rental. That's why you don't rent it. Yeah. And then uh, Wings Alaska, I think, is their um, thing. They have a YouTube channel, and they're like, no way. That's Happy from Happy's Trails. That dude drives that thing. I'm like, yeah. Dude. I was so stoked to see somebody, like, Stick shout it out. Before that's I, always yeah, cool, yeah. Before I had a yeah. chance to get on there and say, hey, no, that's mine. And then afterwards, everybody was, like, super, like, yeah, dude. I'm like, dude, like, I'm the one that's dumb enough to do this stuff. So <laughs> let me let me show you what it's capable of, you know? And yeah. they're capable of a lot more. And you even said that, like, earlier. You're like, dude, some of the stuff we're going to do, you know, he's trying to make sure the trails, but happy mobs, that thing. I know. Like I, like, I was trying to tell Brian, like, if you've ever met up with anybody in a van, then push it. Push him harder than them. Any of them or or any like I mean really any I don't know. I just you have to get out of your comfort zone. Also, you have to know this the thing, this of thing really uh, I oh, don't know the body it's roll, yeah, that the approach and the departure angle, when you look at it in a parking lot, like you wouldn't think that it works as well as it does. And it it scrapes a little bit and like you bent your nerf bar <laughs> up and stuff. But dude, hold on, have you had any like, have you broken anything on the trail? Nothing. No. I knocked a light out. I mean, little That's... things and, like, body damage and stuff. But it's 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 honestly amazing. Um, I was just so blown away with what this what I'm this just going to disappear do. for a second. No way! I wish you could. Hold on. Oh, no, they can't do so. <laughs> no, it's too late. He's gone. He went under the camera, under the table. I guess I chit-chat with you no, yeah no the van is really cool i could really see myself uh mobbing one of these and i could live full time out of one of these and i said in my video today that's going to be on my vlog um i don't know in a week or so that i'd say 75 80 percent of the camp spots i go to 90 percent probably realistically this thing you get right boom Get right there. Oh, hi. I'm back. Oh, hey there, bud. Or really, like, two-wheel drive could get... Two-wheel drive could get 75% of the spots I go. Um, honestly. Because a lot of the spots I go are just to try to be, like, in between, you know, meeting up with someone else, and then we're going to do a gnarly trail and this and that. But, um... And that's what's fun, funny about the Overland... Thank you, sir. No, dude. The Overland community is and trying to mix the jeep community with that um some of the overland community doesn't want to mob quite as hard yeah climbing the hill slash mountain in the rebel was insane yeah dude that was so good man i had such a good time i know cheers to that cheers brother yeah thank you guys that was cheers a, that was a fun day too we woke up i mean that's the night that you sat on my ac and collapsed it <laughs> Dolman to sit on it. He said, you sit right there. You sit on that AC. 
Like you said it so confidently. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers man. And box. then and then I found a tree branch up there and I forgot to get it down. It's still up there. It's under my solar panel. It's a legit branch. That's awesome. I realized that the James the James Rude, the tent has a the rooftop tent has a little storage thing in the top. And I realized that what I really use it for is just collecting branches. Like when I do hit trees, if they break off, they land in that. I've seen a couple up there. It's fun. <laughs> I love collecting that stuff. But so, you don't want to get it jammed in the wrong spots. Like my awning. I have to be careful. I love that awning. It's so sick. I'm dude, excited to show you that. That thing's tasty looking. The one I got is, I don't even know who makes it, dude. But Your awning? Yeah, this one. Fiamma? No, it's not Fiamma. The man? No, it's not the man. It's really sad to say, but it's already it's broken once. I know, dude. It's kind of nice. Got the disco lights and junk. And be like, boom, chill, boom, boom. Well, not without any ladies here, bro. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> but Please no, stop. It, it quit on me once already. Just... And I was like, come on, man. And they're like, oh, it's just a relay. And then they're like, no, the motor went out. I was like, dude, I've used it six times. You know, and like, that was a bummer. So Six isn't that many. Yeah. No, that's like one more than a handful. <laughs> I well, you know it's you know it's crazy. Okay, you just got you got here's where my 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 mind goes, six times. So, the camper industry, and I will say, this is built better than, like, way better. I don't know the quality. Of I would this, say ninety percent better because they they planned on it because that statistic. I know you're gonna say what was it ninety. Uses. Oh, I, I wasn't. I'm not gonna quote any specific numbers. To, oh, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, and it's it, 90 days of use is what they build a lot of these standard campers. You're talking, you're talking your Jacobs. We're talking your just your regular you know, your old run of the RVs, mill, uh, the, the cheapest kind of trailer yeah. type thing. And some Jacobs can be great. Some can be really bad though. Specifically, and I will call it out on YouTube Live, the Baja. Couple of my buddies have had them, and they're really sweet trailers. Yeah, Wally had one. We they look really nice, but they just they have issues. Yeah, and so, like like quickly, like they don't last, and the things don't last. Anyways, point being, yeah, a lot of campers are built for a ninety day standard because most people within ten years will only use their camper for ninety days. So ten not full -time, years, ten only years. ninety days. People, I mean, you got to get out. To ninety days is that's if you're gonna spend that much money. But if you Use really it. think about it, so you're talking a weekender. I, I know days. That. America two needs days, to quit three days. So much. Ninety, you do the math, ten years if someone's working full time. They're getting out still a couple yeah. times once every couple months. I mean I mean I see people like it's um when I was getting my awning done, they're like Oh, the camping season's over, so we're really busy. I'm like, what do you mean you're busy? Yeah, everybody's putting it in storage. I'm like, what do you mean in storage? Mob it year round. <laughs> well, I like, think it's funny when people say stuff like everyone and, and very definitive statements. It's like, no, you can live whatever life you want. But apparently some people that you talk to are doing that. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> but that is one of the things that... But some um, people I know are, are looking for snowstorms in their campers, and they're not windrising them. They're living out of them full time. Right? Like... And that's why I went with this because it has all the aluminum construction and all the cupboards and stuff. It's built, you know, a lot of these campers and stuff and RVs, if you, like, say you just bought a run-of-the-mill, you know, whatever, uh, class B or C, put a four-wheel drive on it and took it out. Like, the cabinets and everything would fall apart. No, it, it's not built. It's not, they're not built like that. And that's why they did the aluminum framing. I'm no and master now, builder, but I feel like I know good quality products enough to see and, and even when we're driving this i've dr i've driven this a bunch i've driven with you a bunch on a, a bunch of different terrain and crazy trails and you can hear it it does it's not silent but it's not falling apart in any way and it's actually pretty dang solid for what you consider is all back here how little it's and what i've done in it, it should be in pieces to be honest dude. i know like I seriously. literally the very first time we I went still... out going down the fire road. Oh, that's right. Dude. I remember just even on the bumps being like, really? Is this okay? And and 
I'm like, P- pick it up. You got to go faster to make it smoother. <laughs> and it does. It does. And, and this then in the sand, smooth. it did really good in the sand. In two-wheel drive, we went pretty much all the way down there. We went know? wherever we wanted, really, around Sycamore Creek. And um, well, oh, on, and on the road, this thing, I was telling somebody today, one of my buddies on the phone, because I was telling him you're coming and just comparing setups because it's fun, talking about my Jeep versus your van. And it's like, man, I was like, Driving his van on the road versus my Jeep, so much easier. Like, so much, like... It's like a Cadillac almost, you know? And it's very... easier, more enjoyable. I don't know what the right wording is. Yeah. But a lot Jeep of... is Jeep life. And um, I will just tell you now, too, especially with it fully built, mainly this Curry Antioch front sway bar, which I could get all into, but... Man, it's a rock steer crawler. Smart. Um, the steer, no, the steer smart stuff per, is is perfect. All that did was improve it. The Curry Anti Rock made it. It sways so much on road. I didn't realize it would literally feel like the sway bar was disconnected on road. Um, so it's just something I have, I'm getting used to, and I'm also like debating like Terraflex has an adjustable sway bar. Anyways. Um, there's certain things with the Jeeps that when you just make them real good for crawling and flex, especially with that, that sway bar. But I did that because I was having issues with the you know you electronic talk. disconnect front sway bar. And to end that, yeah, that's the one big thing with this freaking Gladiator is electronic issues. Uh, rear axle locker. Run out already. Um, it did, uh, nothing's even failing. It's just the sensors and the electronics that's failing. Um, that happened a few. I've had a few issues. It's are, nothing too crazy, but it's. What, is, what does Kevin ever, have on the um, unicorn? He's Kevin, got, Kevin, uh, Nichols Auto oh, Fab. New Jeep gearing. He just asked, "Am I happy with the new Jeep gear?" So, wh- but no, I was saying Nichols Auto Fab. Like, I was trying to figure out what he has on the unicorn Jeep because that thing is a Cadillac, man. Oh well, we, he's got King Evo King coilovers. No, I mean, does he have the the Curry's? system on there too yeah he's got an anti-rock on there does it yeah because that it's was just, pretty stable it seemed like didn't it yeah i mean it that thing sways it does drives it? like a jeep yeah oh yeah. it's a fucking uh, i could oh t- i just cussed <laughs> anyways he's asking about re the gearing uh so i want to get his oh question. yeah yeah he's been watching what gears time. what gears did so, you go into it? nitro 513 gears i did i did some video right. about him today um i don't know what it would be like if i didn't do that uh the gearing I attribute, I attribute three things to this truck being easy to drive. Gearing, steering, and suspension. And the gearing is, like, it, it just... Bah, bah, bah. You go up a hill, it's like... Bah. I mean, it'll shift down and get a little higher RPMs, but not. it just never gets too high. And it, it's impressive. To- There's so many times where I'm like, oh, it's going to shift down, and it doesn't. And so I was testing gas mileage today. And because in the city, I was like a little bit disappointed. I put the rooftop tent on. I load it down. I can really feel the weight on the truck now loaded down. Um, so that's a whole other subject. But as far as fuel economy with the gears, I was like 12, 13. And I was like, ooh, like that was because when I first did them, it was a lot more. On the way here today, I reset uh, while I was on the, the freeway already. So I was moving already. But 65. And I was, like, getting 18 miles. I got 18.5 miles per gallon for 10 miles. And then it dropped down to about 15, 16. But on, so on road trips, I can get about 15, 16 miles to the gallon. Fully loaded. Rooftop tent. Big old awning. It's not aerodynamic at all. I'm super happy with it. Yeah, and then you said as soon That's as you got it done, because you had the, um, the front done first, remember? Because you had to wait for the replacement. Uh, on the axle yeah the rear e-locker went out and they replaced the entire rear axle under warranty well it was just the relay again it was electronic it wasn't like the actual axle failing yeah the little sensor in the axle or something and then they replaced the entire rear axle including the rear brakes which was kind of fun yeah and so because i had run the trailer and, and run those brakes down and so at first he did mob the 37s with the, with four with stock, tens yeah with the stock gearing good point and then when he switched um nickels auto fab did it so driving up nickels. there i wish we for, filmed more of the drive up there oh i could have actually 
And that's the thing, man. I've been, there's so much going on. I'm just trying to turn the camera on and film it all. But looking back, I wish I would have been like, all right, 37s, 410s, here we go. Because Fife and I drove, Fife came with me that day. It was that's done. right, yeah. And we were, <laughs> and just downshifting <laughs> way too much, you said. We were wrapped out going up hills. Not on flats. It's fine on flats. But going up hills, we were wrapped. But out. even the slightest hill, you said, it would couldn't find the gear and kept bouncing between. It was, yeah. And then when the gears got done, the 513s got you were done. Like, it's like stock again. It was smooth. Exactly. It was it feels, comfortable. It feels like it should. That's what the gearing does. I mean, if you, have, if you don't have bigger tires, you don't need it. 410s are good for the 33s. Um, 488s are also a good so 488s or 513s are kind of the question with 37s if you're going to go with 40s some people even go 538s which um but uh, anyways so another thing on the gearing and then i mean i guess we can talk about something else but i i love to talk about oh, the gearing. you talk about anything in four low it's insane you can go like in like six seventh gear you're going like 10 miles an hour. 15. It's like an Atlas transfer case, and you shift it as such, and you and you just, well, not like an Atlas, but you, <laughs> not like an Atlas. You don't shift it like an Atlas, but, anyways, you go over to manual, and you just, up and down, bah, 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 bah. and I I drive in four low, and I'm like, bah, 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 bah. but I'll be going like eight. <laughs> it cracks me up and it's really fun dude remember when we went bronson's jeep yeah and he... you're like how do you shift this thing <laughs> oh yeah i drove that thing funny you mentioned it i forgot i drove that that was so funny dude you that just, thing. i mean the atlas i mean dude that thing is freaking sick and then you're a little more used to it by the time we got the unicorn but that was your first well, experience. Well, even in the unicorn, Bronson. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> How do I get this? I still this don't shit? know. What, I'll admit, I still don't know what I'm doing. That was transfer case. That's fine. I'm not at that level. I don't want to be like if you handed me Bronson's rig. If you handed me Kevin's rig, I would. I'd be getting <laughs> yeah. in your year, year, getting in some trouble, and I might die. Dude, but I, Bronson's know. rig is too much of a crawler, and so is Kevin's. Like, I need to build my way up a little bit more, and that's. You know what I love about those guys, though? Both of them. So we're talking about Bronson, Rhett Gear, and uh, Kevin Nichols, the owner of Nichols Auto Fab. If you're in Prescott, he's the man. But, like, Kevin, those Kevin's dudes, the best. Those Kevin's dudes the are the masters of their own vehicle. Bronson is, a, is Dude, incredibly... Dude, Bronson just I mean, walked up this waterfall. Well, and, and his driving was great, but he took us out there solo. One rig... Confident, like, like through these massive rocks, like you don't, you don't do that unless you're the man, basically. I mean, you know what I mean? You, yeah, he, he's, he's confident very and he knows his rig. You know what I mean? And he's just super passionate about it too. Yeah, and he's so where, super passionate he right about now? the right causes, man. Like, yeah, like clean up after yourself, make cleaning up after like trash cleanup and that, but also like just not blowing up these areas and and I. I'm don't destroy sensitive the to areas, that too, yeah. and I don't know. I, I share land, so much about these areas, but I try nice. to not I mean, tell you like, there, where we are. But yeah, and it, there's just a he. He's super passionate. Dude. That's one thing I can say about him. Like he, he, anywhere he goes, he has a trash bag and picks up trash. You know what I mean? And it's all about keeping the trails open because it just takes a couple people just to ruin it for everybody. So, you know. We're not asking you to go out and pick up other people's trash. I mean, it's great if you do because we do it. You know, I stopped and picked up some people threw out some Corona boxes on that that beautiful road coming in here. And I'm like, come on, man, you know. Like I was it, even thinking of cleaning up this fire pit. I actually wanted to get a little grabber because sometimes. Some tongs, yeah. Um, and I actually was, I had this thought, It's this is kind of gross, but sometimes you unfortunately come across people that can't even, you know, cover up. Poop. their own poop yeah and uh and not necessarily that but and and just, just like just it'd be no cool trace, if, it'd be just... cool if there was a way to just like have like some grabber yeah and like put that like outside your rig and like be able to like i know dude that would be cool like huh? if you had some space like, age like a like, trash truck kind of yeah and it was like and it just like sucked it down into like and sealed it in this plastic little thing like a dry toilet 
You know what you I see? You could put it in a dry... To- oh, you know what, God, this you know is what, such a weird... You know what I see but a I lot just, of? I, yeah. Of toilet paper. That's the and, stuff people don't want to clean up. And baby and like, uh, diapers, dude. Like, why, why do people just throw the diapers on the floor? The bummer about it, too, is you can bury... I mean, you shouldn't bury... You can't bury diapers. Yeah, but you can. I mean, and you shouldn't. You shouldn't bury toilet paper and things like that. But at the same time, that's way better. Burying this stuff a foot or two down. Yeah, way better than. Uh, Cause then it all it all like the paper and plastic it all blows into the creeks, which winds up in the oceans, and we already got a freaking Texas sized freaking plastic island floating in the ocean. Like, come on now. Yeah, but. That's why. That's why when you put, it, you put in the effort to go a little further, and you just get away more away from all that stuff. Yeah. Like this spot. Just clean up This is a great that's, spot that's for where we're going, and you know we put in four and a half hours today. It'll be about the same tomorrow, so it's like just good timing, and it's nice. It's I can hear somebody's generator. I think that's my fridge. I actually, I think that is your fridge, but I could earlier, maybe. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, that's why I turned earlier. Like, I could, it was so funny, because I, I pulled up here, it was quiet, dead quiet. I could hear every car that drove by, and I watched them. And then, uh, I was like, and it was a generator. I hate generators with a passion. Let's say the quiet one, and then you do, like, like, no, I just hate them because a lot of times I feel like, like if you're running it to run AC, heck yeah, I'm gonna jump in there with you. Like, <laughs> it's hot, you know. If that's the case, but at quiet times, turn it off. Ten o'clock at night, come on now. At night times, especially, and also just like, I don't know if you're. If you've got that bigger setup and stuff, like solar's cheap these days. And solar, how long are you really going to be out? If you're full time, you're more likely to have solar. Yeah. Anyways. And uh, I don't know. So what's next for, um, we got off track. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what? Well, this is, a, I don't even know what track this is. It's, are we, were we ever it's on track? It's an what's track. next? You said what's next. What's next? Next is Band Oregon for you. Maybe. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we're not going to go straight there. Not go there? It's going. What are you doing? Playing with your Goldilocks? Look, like, my mullet is almost Come as on, long as, as this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, literally using that as a mirror right now. You ever think about doing some dreads on the beard, bro? That'd be cool. Yeah. No, so we're going to Colorado. Calorati? That's what's next, man. I'm getting yeah, stoked about next. that. Calorati. And then uh, I got to go through Moab. I mean, well... So lots of Colorado, good stuff. Got to go through Moab. I might have to be in Oregon sooner than later for and then, flatbed work. If you guys are in Oregon, so we'll see. But um, Eugene is where I'm gonna be hanging for a little bit by Ninkasi Brewing. I'll be in. Oh, uh, I love Ninkasi, dude. I'll be in. Uh, what is that called? It's, it's down south. Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack of One or something like that. Wolf Pack. Uh, there's a get together. If you look on my Instagram, I posted something. So it's gonna be oh. over Halloween weekend. It's gonna be. I thought you said that was in Oregon. I thought you said that was. It's in Oregon, but oh, it's southern. South, southern Oregon, like gotcha. just north of the Klamath Falls area. No, more east. So okay. north of Nevada. Albert Desert. Al, yeah. What is that? What did <laughs> no, you say? I don't know. That is it. Albert Desert. Yeah, that that's where it. it's gonna be at. Yeah. So check it out, Wolfpack. Um, on my Instagram, I have some Albert posts Desert and stuff. Suit. Yeah. I've never been, but it's I've gonna be seen. a good time. This is like the first year that they're even Since doing it. It's a little get together, and it's they're kind of promoting it as a van meetup, but really at the bottom, if you look at it, it says anybody come. We don't care what you're in. You can tent camp. Like let's just have a good time. 2020 has been kind of a bummer for a lot of people, and especially like get togethers. These small time events, though, man. 2020 is the year of small time events, and and that's what I realized. You you were saying Bronson earlier. Where is he? He Bronson's at Trail Hero San yes. Hollow this weekend, and so is Icon and some other people that I that I know. And I'm like, ah, like I for I just was in this mode of like, there's no events going on, and there is. They're small time events, so if you're like wanting to do any events of any sort, um, 
look at some like smaller local stuff. There's there's a lot going but on. You're but you're gonna try to make it to Oregon, that one, right? The that one, one. What is that on the 23rd? No, it's the 26th? 20. I think it's like the 29th I'm, I'm, through the second. It's like four days yeah. over Halloween weekend. It's gonna be a good time. They got some really cool sponsors. It's the first year. It's like uh, Nomad Brad, um, Schooliana, a couple of those people. If you've heard of them on Instagram, they, you know, one's a schoolie. Uh, Nomad Brad is building out a box truck, and uh, they're just trying to make stuff happen. Yeah, you know, they're happens, they're yeah. they're just trying to make some good things happen, some get-togethers happen. So, if you guys can show up, you know, show up. Let's have a good time. You're gonna you're gonna try I'm to make it. I'm hoping to be there. Um, the flatbed might. I don't know when. We weren't gonna go there. I don't know. <laughs> but no, I'll definitely be there, and hopefully. I want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really try to make it. Yeah, it's priority. gonna be a good and time, honestly, man. Yeah, it just depends where the. We might be mid build of certain things. But, but if not, I'm, I'm hoping to. Hopefully, we'll be able to like maybe we'll debut the flatbed there. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. The thing we weren't we'll gonna see. get into is what he's talking about. And we're not going to get into that right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I haven't gotten into it <laughs> as much as I mean. <laughs> said here. Yeah. It's been like a secret <laughs> all year. It's like, I feel like I could talk about it more on your channel for some reason. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So it's funny. It's funny when I bought, what I'll say about that is before I bought my Jeep, I had this long term plan of, of the camper that's gonna be on there and it's gonna be on there and uh it's just it's like this i don't know it's just funny to to uh do this content and like have the the build like take shape in different ways and i love it. i'm stoked that the people it's funny in the questions like what's happening next what's this what's that and i'm like i don't know <laughs> i just decided to do a rooftop tent because why not greg from pack racks is a super cool dude so, and are you pissing? Maybe. He is. That's his. There's a shower in a bathroom, bro. I can't help it. But usually you don't. Usually he has stuff in there. I, there's That's still why... stuff in there, but I have it well, yeah, finagled no. so that it can be utilized for what it is. That's awesome. I got to say, that's, I wish I could. You should have turned the camera around for that. <laughs> well, that live, been YouTube live. And uh, just so you guys know, I got some alcohol wipes here that smell like tequila. So I can't use them all the time because I'm afraid of getting pulled over. Dude, those. those oh, dang. Oh, I'm like, what? I feel like I just took a shot. <laughs> oh, golly. Oh, oh. oh Dude, it reminds me of Mexico. What? I got a headache. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, it reminds me of that time I almost died in the <laughs> desert. Where am I? Dude, what would, I, what would I tell the cop? Oh, yeah, those are just hand wipes. Yeah, right. Put your hands behind your back. 75% alcohol. Dude, those are freaking stronger than woodpecker lips, bro. <laughs> Gosh, dang. $7.99, that's pretty hefty. You could probably soak those in water and take shots. And you it'd be like a self tater dude. If you were, if you were like, not ah. 21 and you didn't want to go shoulder tapping, you ever do that, shoulder tapping? Yeah. I, I was telling my parents about some uh, parties that we had when I was a kid the other night. I feel like I'm old enough now, 31. I feel like I'm old enough now to where I can start telling my parents, like, hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> we totally, like, stole a bunch of beer and, like, had a big party. And I told them about the beer runs that my friends did, and I never did them because I didn't want to steal stuff. But anyways. Dude, my buddy told me that. So funny, that. When he finally became of age, some kids asked him to buy beer. And he was like, yeah, I'll buy you some beer. And he was trying to teach them a lesson. He took their money <laughs> and he didn't buy them beer. He's like, you shouldn't be asking people to buy beer. That's and awesome. He, hey, he said that they beat him up. <laughs> I was like, why would you admit that? He's like, bro, I got rolled up in the parking lot. I'm like, dude, really? That is awesome. I was like, I would never admit that. That is like something that happens in breaking bad dude, he got or something rolled like, by like four high school kids dude <laughs> what sorry booze they're I like hey you're story. the guy <laughs> yeah, hey we gave dude. you 20 bucks beat him and up. told you to keep the no change way. yeah dude he i was wow. like why would you admit that though why would you tell that story <laughs> 
it's one of those, uh, I don't know, man. It's like so embarrassing it's fun to tell. <laughs> I have oh, some man. of those. I love that dude. I don't know if we should get on that topic. Yeah, right I know, now, right? I have some of those. <laughs> oh, I really man. want some some bacon. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking about that, but I'm thinking I might cook some breakfast, but in the morning. And also, I don't know how I'm going to feel in the morning. I try to make breakfast plans at night sometimes. Not a good idea, I don't think. Usually yeah. good to make breakfast plans when you wake up, especially... When you already have all the food in your fridge and you can't go to the store anyways or get it or order anything, so it doesn't matter. Oh, man. What are, do I have some snacks here for you, bro? I know you're hungry right now. Let me uh, see. I just... I, oh, that's I my didn't trash. Need, I didn't eat enough today. I do that on the road, which is good, which is why I'm going to lose some weight here. I know, dude. I've been trying to get a little more spelt. I even shaved yeah. today. Well, here's my that's tactic. That's a rare treat. That'll, that'll, that'll shave, shave you some oh. weight. <laughs> Have you guys seen any of that? Oh my gosh, you know who are you? That? Did you know I got that? Who are you? Who are you, that him? Did you know I got that? Oh yeah, wait. Oh yeah, that's a tat, right? Yeah. It's, it's sick. It's permanent. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> permanent. No, but no. No big deal. Dude, that's really cool though. Yeah. At first, I thought it was your hair cut like that, and then I looked, zoomed in. And I'm yeah, I don't have the patience to all the lines, so I was like, just tattoo it in, and I'll just shave it. And then, yeah, and then it'll, right. you know. That's sick. Maybe I'll have them tattoo a fade, and then I'll just shave my head all the time. And what you should like do is have them cut the hair to match the tattoo, and then people will be like, sweet tattoo, and you'd be like, That's it's hair. also hair. <laughs> 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 you'd be or or you'd just be offended and be like, "That's my hair," and they'd feel it and be like, "What?" Or if they said "sweet hair," you'd be offended and be like, "That's my tattoo." <laughs> you could Dude. be offended either way, which is the cool thing in 2020, right? I know, right? Be offended no matter what. <laughs> oh, gosh. you know, you know, that's what? a topic. I know, man. Ooh. Let's not even dive into that. Probably not. That's too. You know, far okay. Here's what I'll say about that. Hole. I did one video about COVID and like escaping the quarantine and then i realized like i'm not news i'm not i don't know what i'm talking i'm like people watch me to see outdoor adventures and camp. stick to the script man like i don't i'm not i'm not gonna get political i'm not gonna talk i'm gonna pretend like that stuff is not happening yeah. because i think that is like a bet my biggest contribution or, to the world, or just live your life, man. is to they you know can what I mean? enjoy. Because that's what you do. Well, yeah, like, that, and that's what I'm doing. Like, yeah. like, and hopefully other people stuff. enjoy that. Yeah, like, and I, you know, honestly, like, one thing I learned, and like, even the fire service is like, just because something is not important or an emergency to you, doesn't mean it isn't to somebody else. And like, I was like, yeah, hey, you man. know what? They're right. You know what I mean? So. Uh, not, perspective, yeah. I mean, everyone's, you know, everyone's we get that call with that, you know, older lady, you know, at ten o'clock at night saying she's has chest pain or something, and we've been there twice before, but it's a holiday and she lost her husband. You know, it's like she needs somebody there. Like, yeah, it's not an emergency to us. Oh but, man, you. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you just, so nice. you no, gotta, it's true though. You know, and she's concerned and like she knows she's getting older and like. She's alone. It's oh, the man, holidays. That's, that's like you just scary. don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? So everybody's emergency is different. So you gotta kind of just everybody's situation too. Yeah. And that's how I feel with backgrounds. Like history, even anytime you know? I try to any work, anyone, any life is you have stresses, and so I like you know I have stresses this year. And you've been a good friend to talk to about that. And but I don't and I don't talk too much about them publicly on youtube i don't want to i mean i do yeah i i do in a positive light and i'm excited to get back on the road and be in this kind of new different mindset to where i can reflect i like reflecting on stuff in a positive way rather than being like oh this is how i feel right now because it's gonna change i think that's the right way to live life too though like yeah a lot of bad stuff's gonna happen but find the positives and take the positives out of it you know and but with that said like my perspective is maybe like some people like wouldn't get why i'm like stressed about making videos and like getting stuff sponsored it's like but 
And it's like every, like you said, everyone has a very different situation. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and values. I don't know where we we're even talking about. I don't either. But you it's just keep deep rambling. stuff. I know, dude. It's, it's going good way stuff. too deep for like YouTube live. Really, I mean. Try to just go. Me oh, just you, man. broken up and I just, <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just no, that's silly. yeah that yeah. wasn't real <laughs> not crying <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but really uh so I met Phil what was that January 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 we've hung out a lot like literally this is Did how you it ever happened see the dog Mahal? I saw it one time, like, I only saw it once. I contacted him because I was just, so I started my YouTube channel, know, like, in quick. April, but I hadn't posted anything until, like, right around then. Yeah. And I was like, hey, like, COVID just started, you know what I mean? And, like, people were getting kind of weird. And so, like, we weren't, nobody was on the road as much. Everybody was kind of stopped where they were and, like, oh, let's see what happens, like, that whole fear thing at first so i contacted him and i'm like hey like i really love your rig like i want to do a walk around of it we're not that far from each other a couple hours you know can i come do a video on it and you're like sure man come on down what do you have and i was like winnebago rebel he's like i've never done a winnebago rebel come on down yeah so we met at a breakfast joint huh. and as soon as i fun. pulled up this dude's standing there <laughs> And he's like, yeah. And I was like, I'm going to hang out with that dude. <laughs> like, I that's knew as soon funny. as I saw him in person, I was that's like. That's funny. And that's the thing I told you, too. Right at, like, the first time we hung out and stuff, like, he's exactly the way he is in his videos and he is right now. That's him. Like That's the goal. Dude, it's so like, many why people, would I want to be a character? So many people have channels. They're, they're like, hey, look at well, me. Well, they're working you harder know? than I am because. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, straight up. I mean, dude, seriously. That's though. the best. They're working harder than I am. And you know what's funny? I just thought of that. I just, I just, that's just conversation. But I got to say that every time now. It's true. If that's anybody, brilliant. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. That was my goal was like, I was like, okay, people seem to like me. Like when I'm, so this goes back to like, deep stuff about me like when i'm when i'm in a house and i'm like contained to my comfort versus on the road and and uh when i'm like in this this big personality like i can i'm when i'm at my highest i think i can make people happy and i've i before videos i've i've seen that well that's because and then, you are but, happy but, like little things can get me down and i'm like and then i don't get in the, i don't want to make people happy and it's weird, but YouTube is like this amazing like ball that just gets bigger. And uh, sometimes we slam through some big stuff that the ball's like, I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> it's like, no, no, we're good. Anyways, but weird yeah, analogy, it's just, but it's just. He's just been the same dude that I saw in his videos yeah. in person. And there's, like I said, there's a lot of people who hype themselves up and act different. And I think I'm similar in the sense that, like, we, we're we the same as we are in our videos. So You are. That's the thing. That's the first thing I noticed. Very first thing. Turned the camera on. I was like, oh, he didn't change at all. <laughs> that's nice. Because now I can just film and be myself. Like, people that change. And, and I, I get it. Some people just aren't comfortable in camera. I don't judge people for that. I don't. I love so many people that are that don't want to be filmed, and that's fine. Like Did you I guys respect know that. that. Did you guys? Know I respect that. that. Like, I would. How many I, I people, honestly like, want when it, we hang out. They're I, like, don't record, don't record. Well, I honestly want it to be one way or the other. I don't like in the middle where it's like, yeah, maybe record some stuff, or are you going to put that on there? Or record this, or no, it's all or nothing. Like in you know. Yeah. In a way. Not really, though. But, but that's the thing. Not really. Like, I mean, there's certain things we're not going to. Yeah, and there's some people, though, that, well, right. some things you can't put on, you know, because exactly. of YouTube violations and stuff well, like that. Well, and just overall, like, you get too deep. Like, we talked about po politics and, um, I don't know, certain things you just, 
but it's I not. Don't, I it, don't want to turn off any. Some of my viewers are. I mean, my demographic is more like thirty to fifty, sixty. That's about it. Like that's most forty, fifty percent of them are in that yeah. range, and it's like those are people that have could have a lot of different views. Some of them could think, and I feel like more young and party like, and it's like, <laughs> but also. I don't know. I've 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 changed a lot with what I want out of camping and life, and I definitely like a more calm. And I don't know. I like these events and certain King of the Hammers. We go crazy certain times, certain things. But uh, I don't know. I've toned down a lot too. And also, like back to just the people. You said people hyping themselves up and made me think like I don't know what I'm doing at all. I know a lot of things about certain things and then I don't know anything about other things. And like, I'm just still learning all the time. Like, it's just, I don't, I don't think that anyone that's like hyping themselves up too much, I just feel almost like bad in a way for that. Like what they're trying to fill some void or, or be something that they're not. It's, yeah. I just don't think it's the end. I don't think it's like, I'm, I'm looking for something I can do. I saw forever kind of and not that i'm going to be making youtube videos forever but i don't know man i i can see this just entertainment thing going i don't know i like it i saw somebody who has a pretty big youtube channel oh, I can't. i'm not gonna say <laughs> who they are but i saw them driving and they pulled into the ga same gas station dude so i was like super stoked right i was like hey what's up man i I watch you guys' channel, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, we really don't like for people to come up to us. And I was like, wow, dude, you guys put off this, like, super friendly persona. And, like, we like to have our space. So unless, like, you're invited to, like. And they I, told you that. that yeah, was dude. Was, yeah. See, that's. that's they, they were so eating. Weird. They were eating at a truck stop. That's too and much. And I saw the rig out there. And they were, like, not even, not even close to what they put off. You know what I mean? Like, super reserved. Huh. The girl normally is, like, half naked in her YouTube videos. and the It's thumbnails. weird that they didn't, like, I mean, I feel like y you might say something like that if someone was getting creepy or, like, but you're a smart enough guy to where, like, if they would have just been like, oh, th thanks, man. Yeah, no. Then you would have got the vibes, and you yeah. would have you would have been you would have just walked away. No, like, they were like no super idea. like. But they like, they came like, out of the gate like that. Yeah, That's like weird. They were eating, and I was like, and I didn't want to really interrupt them, and I was so I was trying to be polite. I was like, hey, I just want to let you guys know, you know what I mean? I see your channel, dig what you guys are doing. I'm like, hey man, we're just trying to have a meal. Can you, you know, unless we like are. How doing many subscribers do they have? You can give them a range or. A they're like estimate. they're like almost three hundred thousand, dude. Like, they're okay. pretty big. So they've kind of got to that point. They have a sprinter van. Yeah. yeah. They've had, Because like... I can say I've, I've gotten to the point where if somebody says, like, somebody, some, one guy, this was the funniest thing ever. What did he say? He said, like, oh, I can't remember, but he just said some buzzwords, like, truck camper, overland <laughs> guy, or something like that, you know? And I was like, yeah, down to mob. It was not, like, it didn't really phase me that much, but I was also, like, I was really excited. I'm always excited to see people like that, but I'm also, I feel like it's, I've had it happen enough where I'm like, yeah, yeah, you saw me on YouTube. Like, I, I <laughs> get awesome, it. awesome, dude. But I'm also, like, well, so yeah, stoked about it, and I'm, I'm sensitive to it in a way that, like, I think, I think about this one time. I saw this lady in a gas station. I wasn't wearing a mask, and she was wearing a mask. And it was just like I couldn't see her face as much, so it was just that's a weird thing. Anyways, it's hard. To, like I'm learning to read people's eyes. It's very though. different these days. Yeah. Anyways, she was like, "Down to Bob," and I was like, "That's me." <laughs> and it was like crowded. We were like right in the middle, and people were like, and I was just like, and so I just like went to get my drink, and then we saw each other in line, and I was like, "Hey." So like one of the and, only I, people... and we didn't really like engage, and then. And then I came out, and but I, I didn't know what to say, and she didn't really say anything. And then we went, I, I went out to my Jeep, and I was like, done filling up gas. And I looked over, and I was driving away, and she came out. 
and she like had her phone in her hand and she was kind of like I think she maybe wanted a picture and I was driving away and I looked I saw that and I was like oh no like <laughs> Should I go back? And I'm I was sorry. like, but what do I do? Pull up and say, hey, do you want a picture with me? And I realized, I was, I, so I thought on this, and I was like, what do I say? And the most fun thing for me has been, like, and I did this at King of the Hammers because it happened three or four times during a few. So I had some time to think, oh, what do I say? And I'll just, like, if someone's, like, down to mom, we're like, hey. And then I'm just like, hey, like, what's your name? <laughs> Classic. What's your name? <laughs> oh, happy, hi, happy. What? You from uh, around here? Like, <laughs> you like the weather? Like, I don't know. You just like simple things. Ask about them because they obviously know. Anyways, I really enjoy that meeting people, and that's why 2020 has been crazy. I plan to go to all these events, all of them. Expo West was when we were gonna debut the rig, and then hi, boss. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, Northwest Overland Rally, BC Overland Rally, um, Expo East. Hopefully SEMA was going to be a, a goal. Which I think that's... They're doing virtual SEMA, and I'm, all this virtual stuff, I'm like. It's a trip, huh? I, I, I can appreciate that they're doing it. I know why they're doing it. I mean, we're virtual right now. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> but virtual events, like, there is – there's no making up for that. I don't know. Events are... I'm a communications major, so I think that face-to-face -face communication is, like... Is life. <laughs> so, what is your favorite thing about being on the road, honestly? That should be easy to answer, right? right? It, it you'd should be. I, you'd think I would know that. Well, because... Look, my that, favorite thing is... Here's my favorite thing. When people ask me, like, if I meet somebody, freedom. It is freedom. Um, but it's, it's like, so if you're, if you live in a house and you have your job and you have your routines and you're this and that, and you meet someone and they're like, hey, yeah, oh, you, you seem cool. Do you want to go do something right now? You're like, right now? Like, we'll do this thing we just talked about? It's real cool. Right now. Usually when you, you're you like in your routine, you're like, whoa, like right now. Like, I don't know, buddy. Like, let's plan this. And Living on the road, it's like, yeah, sure. I wasn't doing anything else. Like, you are completely living in the moment. You, yeah. you are forced to live in the moment. That's my favorite thing. Um, it can be hard, but you always learn something. It can be uncomfortable, but comfort's overrated. That's the best thing, living in the moment, man. My favorite thing has been to meet, like, and such a, people. such a, like, diverse people, you know what I mean? So many just completely different, you know, it kind of restores your faith in humanity. You have your jerks every once in a while who just are having a bad day, probably, you know? But, like, man, I've met some of the most amazing people, and you have, too. I mean, you've introduced me to so many people who are just, like... It's We're like, about wow, to see man. some more, man. Yeah, right? Like, I'm so stoked and to you, be And you have introduced dude. me to uh, Kevin from Nick, and all the guys at Nichols Auto Fab. Boy. Bronson. And, Bronson. And, um, and yeah. I mean, just random cool people in Payson that we've just stopped by that you've known. I'm like, it's your perspective changes when, like, the guy with the furniture shop. Oh, Steve, I yeah. Mean, he had an influence in my overall perspective. and Steve is an amazing person. He's probably one of the most positive people. He told me something like like about, oh, these rich guys making money. Oh, no, no. It was people making, making... we're talking about because um, there's this huge scam with the, um, that was going on with the um, unemployment. Yeah. Like all these people who didn't live in the state were filing for it, and he's just like, well, that's a blessing for them, you know, if it if it turns out to be something yeah, negative. Yeah, he's like, but... All you can do is be happy with what you got and what you get. He said, and, like, but my pillow's real comfy. Or, every or night. Like, every I night, like, pillow, like I sleep real comfy every night. Like, on yeah. the, with the clear conscious kind of thing. I can't remember the word. Steve and Eve at the I was furniture like, shack dude. in Prescott. If you ever get a chance, they used to run a hostel. They were like, dude, they were like van life before it was cool, bro. That, like... 
Like in the I 80s. I met a lot of people like that too. Like in the 80s, you gotta, they mobbing. You know, they lost everything when their RV caught on fire and they rebuilt okay. and then they started a hostel wow. in Prescott and they ran that for wow. a while and then they started their furniture shop. Like they are super amazing people. I love you guys. Steve and Eve, if you see this, love you. So awesome to meet both of you. Yeah, your shop's really cool too. I just, I love, I love that idea too of repurposing like things that, um, I did that the with dirt bike parts. Type, yeah, right. For a long time, we we parted out dirt bikes, and it was amazing, man. We we pull up to people's houses on Craigslist, and yeah, I can use another here. And uh, there'd be just some pile of junk sitting in their backyard. We'd pull it apart, put the parts on eBay, and someone would scoop them up right away, and be super excited to have some 1985 ATC 200 carburetor, or whatever. I mean. But that's um, and and I and that's when I started to re really love that repurposing, um, and just like so, <clears throat> for example, like a brake, a full front brake setup or a rear brake setup on a dirt bike, right? YZ125, CR, whatever, standard like dirt bike, they're all pretty similar. Say a brake caliper, just the caliper, would cost you three hundred fifty dollars. You go to a dealership. I'll sell you the entire. Uh, I'm talking like this was 10 years ago. I'll sell you the entire setup for just $69.99. No, I, but really like 50, 60, 70 bucks. And they would bucks help somebody out. all we would need to get out of an entire front brake setup. You go to buy that new, you'd be spending like six, seven hundred dollars something stupid. So I just really uh, enjoyed that. And then, the whole repurposing thing and stuff. Yeah, yeah and that's even what they though, do with the furniture. You know? Even though my Jeep is built with all like brand new stuff mainly and it's not I, I still do have a passion for that and i'm going to show you my kitchen slide tomorrow i'm excited oh yeah dude you were talking about earlier i for how like low tech and janky i call it it's amazing um but i repurposed a lot of uh, a piece of wood that i had from the dodge mahal from the that was the piece that was cut off of the deck of the for the rear seats and trim for the sun raider and uh, these latches from my jeep trailer that's awesome you and i put another twenty dollars into it in parts and i built this awesome slide and i was like i don't know it's a little something but i just love that i love repurposing stuff. i took a handle off a of tommy bahama cooler i had had this handle for like 10 <laughs> years my buddy was throwing this cooler away when we we're in college and uh i'm like dude that's a nice aluminum handle you don't want to throw that away so i just unscrewed it put the handle <laughs> so on that note i really want to and i love like guys like keith that i've met in oregon and they've built their own campers i really want to i we've talked about this before yeah. don't steal this idea take a trailer blank trailer pull it around with something like this where you have a full home already and build it uh, on the trailer build a home out of like pieces of the wood from the woods you get here and along your travels and it would be hard and it would be silly and, and you would at times be like why am i telling this hunk of junk but i think for a video series it'd be pretty cool <laughs> maybe a netflix uh special netflix original i need me a netflix original. <laughs> <laughs> i need to get on that netflix man so it was funny because will this help me he has really? people like, recognize him all the time from his YouTube channel, but I don't. Um, I had one person flag me down. It was really cool because I was going through the Valley of the Gods. Oh, yeah. And it, it's just beautiful, dude. I'm like, I was like looking at it. I'm like, oh, my. It was the first time I've ever been there, too. My friend Jimmy took me there. And I'm like, oh, my God, look at this. And, I'm, dude, I'm like, I got my phone out there trying to take pictures. I got my camera. I'm running around. He's like, come on, man. Like, I'm just like trying to get pictures of everything right we do the whole road wrap around and there's this one guy has a perfect freaking camp spot dude i mean he's up on a hill it's like overlooking the whole valley dude and he walks out from his van and is like kind of waiting saw the picture yeah dude and i and I, of course i wasn't driving and because jimmy was driving you know and he's waiting he's like hey I saw you on Down to Mob's channel. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, luckily I had my hiking Birkenstocks on, and I ran 
all the way up this dirt hill just to shake this dude's hand. That's awesome. And you know what he said to me when I got up there? Mm -hmm. Do you ever drive your van? <laughs> Because the video you were driving and then Jimmy is driving around. I was like, yeah, dude, you just, I don't know. So, anyway. That's funny. No, he's driving his van. Maxwell man. Hand. Yeah. Thank you, bro. And I was Love bummed you, I didn't get to meet up with you guys when you were. I was in the thick of it. Like, took him to. Oh, took, I showed you how to cheat, but it's just yeah. the things took, to do. I took him. Um, I met him. Funny. Uh, Maddie. His girlfriend showed him a couple swim holes in uh, Sedona. And then they actually came over and hung out for a couple nights and stuff. And then he's still on the road. He's in Oregon right now. And his sister. Um, How long have they been on the road? Um, I can't remember what he said, Max. I'm sorry, brother. I do listen, man. But oh, we, we, we downloaded so much you. info. I did. And then, I, but you know oh, cool, I, oh, wait a time. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. Yeah, so, shoot, But then, yeah. like. I was supposed to meet up with him because his sister flew in. They're from New Hampshire, I think. Massachusetts? Yeah, Mass. And his sister flew in from Mass to Phoenix. And so they were all three cruising around. I was like, dude, how cool is that, man? Like, you got your sister, your girlfriend cruising around. That's so, the dream, too. I've had Angela, that. Maddie, Max, what's up? Love you guys. Hope to see you guys soon. Dude. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh. Dude, Very his van cool. is so cool, man. He's got a, a Dodge Sprinter, and he has, like, a really cool setup, man. He built it out so nice. It was – I can't wait to get a, that thing a video on it. That sweet from the pictures. Dude, it's cool, man. They did it right. And then uh, Mia, their dog. Hi, Mia. She's so cool, man. She can't hear you. She can hear me. She's a dog. She hears. Dogs Dude, do hear, yeah. They hear very well. <laughs> she hears. <laughs> Call the girl, do you hear me? Oh, yeah, she hears. You saw that air perk up. Call the girl. Yeah, so they were awesome, oh, man. Gosh. But that was the first time anybody's ever, like, recognized me. And I'm not saying I've had it that many times. No, no, no. It's I know, probably it been just, 20, 30 times. It's, it's not that I, I thought it was cool because, Where like, I'm still, like, stoked, and I can't imagine ever, ever, ever saying something like that. Something like that, or to, oh, to yeah. put someone off right away. Yeah, and just like oh. I kind of was like, well, maybe oh, like they're you fighting like, or something. Like, well, it's tr it's that's the thing too is um, they can get over. I was gonna say too. like you, yeah, you could be. I'm sorry, I was. And mad. it could it could also be a crappy. Maybe they just read some crappy comment, which it shouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, there are horse face. I'll never forget you, horse face. <laughs> Somebody commented on my YouTube video like a year ago. They called you horse You're face. Not, they called me a horse face. They said, they said, we don't want to see your horse face. We want to see the views, man. Like, show us the place, not your horse face. Dude, that's a Nacho Libre. I'll never forget the horse face. And you know what's funny? I've, I've like, I've, I've like, um, I'm doing oh some like God. self counseling, and I'm like realizing like. I don't want to have this horse, horse face, face thing really got to you, man. <laughs> like you, you remembered horse face. I well, mean, horses have long faces. You don't have a long face, bro. You're good. No, I have a big pumpkin <laughs> head. I have the biggest, <laughs> roundest. I can't believe somebody <laughs> called you horse face. It's dude. actually very inaccurate. <laughs> I Why have a massive, a massive dome piece that is <laughs> not, not nice elongated at all. At all. God, dude, um, I can't believe. But yeah, it's just sometimes. So on I'm that point, so hard no, I love that, that you laugh. So I love that you laugh that hard. Honestly, uh, it's funny. It's it's funny because like, why? Like, what in the world? Like, it's so random. Like, you trying to make a name for yourself, eh, horse face? <laughs> I should wear a horse mask. Those horse masks are. Hilarious. Oh, Those are some of the funniest masks. Oh my god. That I think like Halloween mask style, like Yeah, dude. Those horse ones, you see? Yeah, those right? are, they're just freaking like, like that girl. That lady has they're that huge. Medallion and her kids are like, my poop is oh, coming out, gosh. runs by. <laughs> Where wow. Oh, Where so good, we? man. Uh what are we talking about? Horse <laughs> face. So we were talking about the comments, though, and oh man. Okay, I'll, one thing more I'll say about that too is sometimes, like one time I was in a, 
or, or well, and this wasn't a fan, but this was someone that, and I mean, you get this, so you get this with your rig, right? Where people are like, wow, like revel, like the revel really, I've, I've seen, I'm just watching people. It calls cause it's, it's tall. And, so I've had it with my rig before. Well, someone will want to be talking a bunch and I'm like in a hurry. <laughs> Usually, ninety percent of the time, dude. horse face is down to chit chat about. <laughs> My back but sometimes I'm in a hurry, and I'm like, "Yeah, it's really cool, thanks." Like, ah. <laughs> but that's why I got some little cards. And then, anyways, oh, you God. can't get over horse. I'm so sorry. Dude. No, it's so why, good. Why, why I'm really stoked. That's I got so you. Mean, though. I'm stoked. It's I think it's funny as hell. You know the fact that it brings this much joy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, horse face commenter. Thank you. you have... Why would you say it? Why are you being so mean to this guy? He's a nice guy. I know. Like, why? Like, what did I do in that video? Like, it was not. No way. It was that bad. Oh, oh no. man. Hey, but speaking of which, dude, That's when I did that man. ambulance or revel video, dude, you should have seen, like, I didn't know that they don't, like, monitor the comments on there like people were like every swinging rich f has one of those sprinter vans get rid of that thing like so, i'm like holy crap all man. those comments you click if you actually click and read like they don't have any subscribers they're not it's like on instagram this wouldn't be happening so it's a troll basically because on YouTube. instagram most people that have accounts actually post pictures and they're like this is my life and blah 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 well, on YouTube, so many of these, the hater comments are, they're just people that don't post anything. Yeah, dude, they're... They like, have some account with some random name, and they have no accountability, is what I'm getting at. One guy that they thought... And they haven't done it themselves, either. One guy they thought was spam, he was, like, they didn't approve it to get thing. I had to, like, you know how you can have to read it there first? There are uh, some comments you have to approve. And it's this weird. one was, like... Dude, it was like I think it, it was just border, flagged certain words. It was like borderline yeah. racist, but he was yeah. like, "Oh, you're just a trust fund baby," but I don't know if they come in that color type reference. You know what I mean? Like pretty borderline rate. It was racist, but they didn't approve it, and it was like, "But I'm poor, and <laughs> like all my money went into this." You know what I mean? That's it was what like, people don't get, and that's what I need to tell people more. Do you think my Jeep's cool? Thank you. I appreciate it. It's all I have. Yeah. It's everything. And that's it's the same with this. Like, I literally... I, I put everything into it. Like... Yeah. So, like, I... don't I, have a house and, like... Big, I, I like, haven't you know. been, like... I haven't let out a bunch of information about my personal life. You guys know that I was, like, uh... You know, I was in the military. I was a firefighter. I got injured, and I had to retire early. I didn't want to. I'd never planned on leaving the fire service. I planned on being there 35 years and being an old man and finally having to leave. You know what I mean? But I was dealt the card I was, so I had to deal with it the best I could. I lost my fiance um, five years ago and went into kind of like a depression. And everybody was like, hey, just buy a house, get a job, get in a routine. And so I did all of that. And I'm like, I'm giving you guys way more information than I've... I don't know if I... Not that I want, didn't want to, but... Well, you maybe this is the right time. This. Maybe this is the right yeah. time. Like I wasn't really planning on it, but well, so you I can talk about yeah. it more in the future too. Yeah. So but, yeah, losing my fiance was devastating. If anybody's ever lost a loved one, um, mine committed suicide, and it sent me into a horrible like depression. And everybody was like, just you know, um, telling you what to do. Yeah, like, like get a experience. get a house and a yeah. routine and and to help me get out of the funk. You know what I mean? And so I did Trying that. Trying to give good advice. They I'm did, sure. and, and, and and it helped, Everyone, you know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. I got a job, another job, and um, had but a house like and mold. everything. And I sat in this, like, what would be a lot of people's dream. And, you know, if my fiance was there or, like, if circumstances were different, it probably would have been a dream house for me. It was a 2,500-square-foot log cabin on an acre in the pines. Like you know remote control gate like it was living it up dude it was you know what i mean but i was not happy i just sat there and i was like i'm in this big house yeah. alone and then you know you could sit me there right now by myself and i would i would fall into some bad habits yeah right and yeah. then you know 
my girlfriend would come over and stuff when she could and stuff, you know what I mean? But it was still, I was there alone a lot, right? So one day I'm just like, I am not happy. This is not what I want to do. And so I really had to like look inside myself and say, what, what am I happy doing? And I'm just like, you know, I love my family and I love my friends. I'm going to sell everything. I'm going to buy a van and I'm just going to travel around and go see my friends and family who live all over the United States. And that's what I'm, I'm blessed with a lot of friends from the military and the fire service. And I'm like, dude, that's what I'm going to do. So I sold everything, like literally everything I got, like everything I own, you could probably fit into one vehicle. You know what I mean? I have a little bit of storage at my mom's of some stuff like of hers that I don't want to get rid of. You know what I mean? And a couple of pieces of furniture that her and I had, but this was it. And then, you know, I talked to my friend, uh, Mokish, Mokish Fidesaga. What's up, brother? Um, he's a producer. He's like, hey, Happy, why don't you just, and Happy is really like what I go by. Um, Jason's my real name, but since before I was born, my nickname has been Happy. So I, you know, that's really what I go by. He's like, Happy, you know, he grew up with me. He's like, Happy, why don't you just, you know, start a YouTube channel, man. If you're going to do in the van life, that's a big thing right now. I was like, I don't know anything about that, you know. And he's like, just do it and see what happens. And it's just, you know, it just kind of steamrolled. It's not huge, but I'm having a lot of fun. I meet people like you and everybody else, you know what I mean? And just, it's turned into what it is. So I have nothing else but a small amount of stuff in storage and this van, you know what I mean? So this is it, man. There's no trust fund. There's no, you know, I have a ton of money. And you're the well, same way, dude. Like, yeah. you got your truck, you know what I mean? And you, like, you, you call I work dude. hard to try to have an income and then um, just also keep my expenses low. Like, I used to be a financial advisor. and Yeah, and you were in a cubicle and unhappy, I wasn't, dude. Yeah, I, well, unhappy. I was unhappy. I... I had to form, I had to transform into a different person. And uh, I had to, to do that, I had to strip away, like, a lot of things that made me, like, the best me. And uh, that was just scary. And I did it, and I sacrificed, and I got the most, I made the most money I ever made. But I also talked to the, the perspective. Uh, honestly, the most valuable thing was not the money, it was the perspective of talking to literally thousands of people and asking them what's your retirement goal and like a lot of people you literally ask them that question word for word and they laugh and they're like oh like oh you're just an advisor like all the advisors ask what are your goals like oh it's like i'm like yeah that's what they train me to do but i actually care i'm phil so like, <laughs> tell me your goals and let's talk about what you actually want to do and, and what you need to get there. Like so many people, it would be like, would, and if you, if they did open up, it would be like travel or do this or do that. And most of the things they said, I was like, why don't you just do that right now? Yeah. Right. Why are you like, and everyone's got a different life and, and I don't know what they need to be happy. It's so weird. And you know, to, you I know, try to crack this code. I think about it. I'm so like, every day. I'm like, mm. you know, so many people Everyone's say so that, man. And I think one of the one of the huge, like, turning moments for me was like, I think we're on vacation in Hawaii, and this guy was like 65 years oldish, and uh, had had worked a hard life. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't have a good life for a long time, but. Um, He's like, yeah, we finally did it. Finally, you know, pulled the plug and, you know, made the jump to Hawaii. We've been wanting to do it for like 30 years and I can't hike and I can't ride bikes anymore. You know, I hurt my body so bad working. And so we just come here and sit on the beach and all they can do is rent a place. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't want that to happen. You know what I mean? Like my body's already broken. You know what I mean? as it is if i wait till that age like i don't know if i'll be able to do anything either that's yeah and and i was like you know i'm gonna do this for my fiance and i'm gonna go because she was super outdoorsy and i wasn't but what i didn't realize is that it was really doing it for me like in a way she tricked me 
into thinking I was That's doing cool, it for her. Man. You know what I mean? It's yeah. true though. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so now I look at people and when they say they want to do something, I'm just like, do it. Well, I can't have a responsibilities. No, do it's, it. If it's, you, it's interesting. If, if you want to do stuff, if you want to do it, if you truly want to do it, just do it. Like, Anything you want to do, do there's an amount of sacrifice you have to give to get that thing. Um, if you're talking about going to get a fast food meal, $10. Well, if you make $10 an hour, that's an hour of your work. I mean, whatever it is, you just have to sacrifice just it and you'll it. get it. It's like, I don't know. Why, that, why wait till you're old is. and be like, but all, yeah. I wish I would have. Just do it now. Even if you're old now, I'm sorry to like say if you're old. Like, do it now. It's never too late. Just do it. If you got to walk away from something, like, hey, the, if I just walk away from a house, it's going to ruin my credit. Okay. I, I just think, like, fearing things like that is so much worse than experiencing things like that. Exactly. Walking away from your house and ruining your credit, you can build it back up. But if you worry about that and, that, and you never do anything and that's always the reason, well, that's taking a hold of you. And if there's um, anything you want to do, if you truly want to do it, like, you can do it. Like, yeah. literally, you can do anything. I used to think that that was, like, a cliche. People were like, yeah. oh, you can do anything you put your mind to. No, it's more of, like, if you really want to do it, you can do it. You know what I mean? Like, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. It's not like a Nike commercial. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a little, like, just that's do a little it. Nike. Just do it. But seriously, man, like. I just think there's life. this priorities, you know, like everyone, everyone has their own priorities. Some of my friends are, you know, like Colby, he's like amazing mountain biker. He's like, I'm going to ride my bicycle every single day, every day. And it was over a hundred degrees for like 134 days and in what Arizona. Did he do? And he lived in Scottsdale, Arizona. And every single day he rode his bicycle. He woke up four or five in the morning He'd go at night, he'd go ride e-bikes, he'd go to Payson, he'd go to where his weather. He rode his bike. You'd tell, like, I mean, most people, it's like, they haven't ridden bikes in years, but that's because he wanted to do that. And uh, I, know I just respect girl. that. I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Like, I, And me, I'm like, I want to overland. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to just go in like some stock thing like i want to have like the best and i want to have like the coolest biggest thing that i've ever had not for any reason other than just like experimenting and seeing i don't know i just enjoy i enjoy the parts and i and so i decided to sacrifice travel time this year for building that truck and uh it's it's like i've learned so many things through it i can't say it was like nearly as amazing as traveling but i've learned probably just as many things as i have like traveling. i don't know it's uh yeah you always got to sacrifice one thing or another thing yeah and i, I, I just see how that works like right like, now we're staying up later we're sacrificing we, this we, for yeah, sleep. we know we got to get up early so yeah. well we don't gotta get up one early. i want to see that sunrise I did it's mention that earlier, epic. but <laughs> hold on though. The sun set over there. So that means it's gonna rise over there. Uh, we ain't gonna see nothing. Uh, no. The sun set is what's cool here. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I'll no, show brother. you the pictures. Should we call it? I guess we should. It's been a long time. Yeah. Ninety nine minutes, nice. I was gonna say an hour, but no, that's an uh, hour and a half, huh? Well thank you guys for uh watching the live video and and those of you who are going to watch it on the channel, down to mob. Yeah, this was fun. We went into so much stuff. Safety, dude, thank you for watching. Van Life Rocks? Yeah. You watched like you, the whole thank thing, man. So Thanks much. for being here. And um, we're going to be It at was the... fun hanging with you. Yeah, dude, it was. Thank you for the comments and stuff. And yeah, that was Crestone sweet. Brewery. Yeah, Crestone Brewery at, at 2, 2 p.m. on Saturday. And saturday yeah and uh lots more and what you guys videos. missed is i was like what what town is that in we have to say what town it is so i made him look it up and he's like oh it's in crest stone crest stone <laughs> like the brewery yeah right? <laughs> i'm like no that's the brewery uh, <laughs> all right guys good times thanks for following have a good one, have a good one. how do you shut this thing off you just cheers it
Cheers it. Oh, okay. Cheers.